Hi viewers, welcome to Lama Solution. Today we are going to see about hybrid pen and PO MBPT algorithm for solar PV system. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. So this is a sibling model created for testing hybrid pen and PO MBPT algorithm for solar PV system. So this is system consists of PV panel. The PV panel rating is 250 watts and then open circuit voltage is 37.3 volt and voltage at maximum power point is 30.7 short circuit current is 8.6 amps and then uh, current at maximum power point is 8.15 amps so here you can see that IV PV 36 of uh, the consider PV panel for 1000 watts per meter square, the maximum power is around 250 watts. For 800, it's around 199.9. For 600, is 149.6. For 400, is 98.9. So, okay. So, these are the peak power of the PV panel during different irradiation condition. Okay. So, here we are connect the load so these are the load right this load when we connected to the pv panel via boost converter okay the boost converter is connected in between pv panel and the load and here we are using that hybrid in an uh, pv mbpt the, the concept of neural network algorithm already we explained uh, in early video so you can check my youtube channel for more information about neural network mbpt and also i explain about p, p and o mbpt also so just you watch our videos in my youtube channel okay so now we are going to implement that uh, hybrid nnpo mbpt so here you can see that so this is the neural network mbpt that means the neural network going to model as a solar pv system okay so based upon uh, irradiation and temperature the neural network will provide the maximum power point voltage okay so that will be compared with the pv voltage and process via PA, pad controller so it will be generated the duty cycle and same way here we are using p and mbpt so p and mbpt receive two inputs so one is voltage and current right so here you can see that it receive voltage and current so based upon this voltage and current that means uh, based upon the condition uh, change in voltage change in power the duty cycle will be calculated so based upon this condition that means we are going to compare that means we are going to compare the change in power with the zero change in voltage with zero so based upon this condition we are going to increment the duty cycle or uh, decrement the duty cycle in order to obtain the maximum power from the p pan okay so this is working of pn to mbpt this uh, two control detail right so already i explained in the previous videos okay you can check that videos also now here i am going to combine this uh, neural network and uh, pn to here by using this addition okay the output of uh, the neural network mbpt to the cycle the output of pn to is also due to the cycle so I am going to add in this do to the cycle here and then I am going to take the average okay so here we are going to combine both neural network output and the p and o output uh, to frame that hybrid option okay so and also here we have a different selection switch uh, so this is used to select the hybrid selection mode okay that means we are going to enable this one so that means uh, the switch position should be in the upper position right so this switch uh, position also should be in upper and then this switch uh, position also should be upper and then this output will be flow like this and then is given to the pedulum generator okay that means uh, the addition of uh, neural network mbpt to the cycle and pn to mbpt to the cycle going to be added together and then we will take average so that will be is given to the pedulum generator so based upon this duty cycle it going to generate the pulse for the igpt of the boost converter to extract the maximum power from the pv panel 
okay and another one thing we are used to here that means selection switch right so here also we do some uh, uh, hybrid option so based upon the change in power condition right so here we are measuring the change in power here we are measuring the power so after that you have to calc uh, uh, here we are calculating the, the change in power so the change in power will be compared with the 0 0.02 so this is a limit okay uh, the change in power limit if the change in power is greater than 0 0.02 then you have to allow the POMPPT algorithm okay the change in power is greater than 0 0.02 we are going to allow the POMPPT if suppose the change in power is not greater than 0 0.02 then we are going to allow the neural network MPPT. Okay. So this selection switch is going to select the uh, duty cycle so based upon change in power. Okay. So the change in power is greater than 0 0.02, it is going to be allow the PO MPPT. If it is less than 0 0.02, it is going to be allow the neural, neural network MPPT. Okay. So if you want to select this hybrid option, this kind of hybrid option, so then we need to change this switch position to down, right? Then it going to be select the duty cycle value from here and then it going to be allow by this and it, it going to be given to that pdlm generator. So the pdlm generator going to generate the pulse for the boost converter to extract the maximum power. So this is another option, hybrid option for a uh, hybrid NNPO. So next is if suppose you want to execute only uh, PO MPPT, right? Then you can select this switch, right? So just change the switch position to down, right? Then it won't be allow on the PO MPPT. Okay. If suppose you want only NN uh, MPPT, then you have to use this position, right? You change the switch position to down, then it won't be allow on the neural network MPPT. Okay. So this a uh, control logic is implemented here for hybrid. NNPO MPPT. So you can operate this model and hybrid option, hybrid NNPO MPPT in the two method, right? So one method is already explaining this mean You can use this concept or you can use this concept. So based upon the selection switch, okay. And also the same model can be operated in the PO MPPT as well as neural network MPPT alone, okay. So based upon the, the switch position of the, the manual switch. So now I am going to operate the system. Okay. So here that means here I am going to vary the irradiation for every 0.2 seconds. Uh, the irradiation will be vary from 1000, 800, 600, 400, and 200 for every 0.2 second. I am going to measure the power of the PV panel. Okay. And also after after taking this power and then I am going to compare with the PV method. Okay. I am going to compare the result of this with the PO method and NN method. Okay. So, first I am going to operate the system with the, the hybrid NN PO MBPT concept. So, here you can see that for change in irradiation condition right uh, it effectively extract the maximum power from the PV panel okay so for 1000 is around 249 something for 800 is around 198 for 600 is around 148 for 400 is around 98 and 200 is around 48 okay so I am going to take this result okay so next I am going to operate the same model with the PO MPPT. So I am going to change the switch position now. I am going to operate the same model with the PO MPPT. So here you can see the difference, right? So PO MPPT will take the time to reach the maximum point, okay? And also here you can see that it have some oscillation during change in irradiation condition for every change in irradiation condition of PV panel. So here, here you can see that so it have large variation during changing irradiation from 400 to 200. 
so now I'm going to print the figure and then change the color here now so I'm going to change the color to pink color and then I'm going to take copy and then I'm going to paste here okay so next I'm going to operate the model with the NNMPP okay NNMPP alone So here we have some oscillation during change in irradiation and it's a condition also then you can see that there is a tip in the power also here you can see that during low irradiation condition so there is lot of oscillation with the end and MPP. So here I'm going to take print to figure and then I'm going to change the color of the graph I'm going to change to red color and then I copy this one so here I'm going to paste the results so now we are going to compare the results so for during uh, that mean uh, this is the comparison of uh, 3 MPPT okay um, so here you can see that PO MPPT will take a long time right to reach the maximum point but uh, the hybrid NN and uh, neural network will be reach the maximum point quickly but it will take some time to reach the maximum point okay so next I am going to compare uh, here this portion right So the th uh, three algorithm would have different uh, uh, MBPT point, right? So here you can see that the PO MBPT having oscillation in between 248 to 249. But hybrid NNPO would have around 248 watts, but normal neural network MBPT would have only 247. Okay but if you run the model for uh, several that mean uh, you have to increase the model time that means execution time for a particular irradiation so you can see the difference of uh, this power variation okay and also i'm going to compare the result with the change in irradiation condition so here you can see that So you can see that the PO MPPT having oscillation, large oscillation, large oscillation, but the hybrid, you can see the blue color is known as hybrid, but it not have a large oscillation, but it extract the maximum power from the PV panel with the constant variation. But you can see that this is normal N and MPPT, so they have only uh, less MPPT tracking point right when compared to hybrid NN and P1BP so from there you can see that the oscillation will be avoid in the hybrid NN and P1BP then P1BP okay and also you can check the transient time so the PO having more transient uh, during change in irradiation, irradiation condition from uh, 1000 watts to 800 watts per meter square right but the ERD, that means the, the transient behavior for the uh, NN and uh, hybrid NN is avoided in the system. Okay. And also, I am going to discuss this result in the low irradiation condition. For example, consider uh, irradiation at 400 watts per meter square. So, I am going to expand these results. So PO having a transient high transient right when compared to hybrid N and PO MBPT and also you can see the result of uh, uh, neural network it having more oscillation and also you can see the result of uh, P and O and high, high normal N. So here here you can see that the hybrid right 
A hybrid INNPU and PPT will provide um, uh, highest maximum power point from the solar PV panel when compared to uh, PO and uh, normal NN MBPT. Okay. So this is working of this model hybrid NN PO MBPT for the solar PV system. Okay. So thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.